Relying on a password alone isn't enough to keep your accounts safe. That's where multi-factor authentication can help. MFA is the second step you take after entering your password to keep your account safe. If you're curious about how to enhance your online safety with MFA, you're in the right place. Follow along to learn about the four different types of MFA. The first type of MFA is knowledge-based, which relies on something you know. An example of this is a security question to confirm your identity. You can use this both digitally if you're trying to access your account online and verbally if you're speaking to a company. Just make sure to have strong and confidential security answers too. Next is possession-based authentication, which verifies your identity through something you have, like a hardware security key. Think of a security key as an ID. When you log in to an account, you'll insert or tap it on your device, just like you'd access a building with your ID. Your device will sense the key, validate your identity, and grant you access. Another type of MFA is inheritance-based authentication, which verifies your identity using biometrics. First, you'll register your fingerprint or facial scan with the device. Then, the system will compare future scans to your original scan to confirm your identity. Since everyone has a unique fingerprint and facial features, this method is very secure. Lastly, there is location-based authentication, which uses your physical location to verify your identity. Some apps and services require you to be in a specific location to access your accounts. MFA is one of the best ways to protect your accounts, especially when paired with strong and unique passwords. Whichever MFA method you choose, enable it for every account that offers it for extra safety.